Hello guys, guys, what's up? This is Burundiani Travel over here. In case you are new, please subscribe, guys. Comment, guys, share. I would appreciate, guys. I'm somewhere to the airport right here. I hope you can see. That is Entebbe. Welcome to Entebbe International Airport. But you know, welcome, which is there. So what happened today, guys, was another hectic, hectic story right here. Guys, today I imagine I traveled from from Burundi. Needed to travel to Dubai. Actually, from here in Uganda. But actually, I was from Burundi. So, but they refused. They refused me to board. They said that I must go back in my country and then fly from Burundi to that country. But you know, uh, to be honest, in my country, there is no flight directly to Dubai. You have to pass somewhere like uh, Uganda. You need to pass somewhere like uh, Nairobi. Oof. But they refuse. And you know what? I was with my friend who called um, Claudie Joseph, the guy from Kenya. Imagine the guy, some two guys say that they cannot help a Burundian, which is very hectic. Imagine they cannot stamp a passport of Burundian to travel, but my brother, they let him to go and fly, you know. They stamped his passport, but they say mine they cannot. And uh, some other two people used to ask me and tell me that they cannot let me to go, like, because they hate Burundians, like, maybe to go somewhere else, like, maybe to go and change life. These people, oh my God, ah, oh, so bad. You would think that we are not in Africa, like, you are a white guy, you know. They used to tell me that everyone right here, everyone, everyone is going to his country, or maybe coming back, you know, which is too bad. So, up today, I'm just felt like to hate this migration of uh, Uganda, and and this airport also. So God help me, maybe not passing right here again. Because it's too bad, guys. Imagine, imagine, and they cancel your flight like crazy. They just take that. They took that. Um, okay. Is like this. They used it to need maybe at least uh, some money or let me just say bribe. Then I said okay because I didn't had uh, cash. They asked me maybe to to go and search cash. Then I can come and then I pay. Then they do that. But when I went there, they changed it to me. You see, they changed it and they start to say like, oh no give us a 200 USD and they was saying 100 USD and I used it to say let me just give them but imagine until the flight to go they told me no way but the problem is that me as a Burundian they, let, they said I cannot fly but I need to go back in my country and they really know that there is no any direct flight from Burundi to Dubai so something hectic but it's okay I'm really feeling so bad guys like I don't have even power man like uh, so imagine someone offered to me this flight and they said let me help also my brother so we use it supposed to maybe to go together but this passed it that this way and they said the guy let the guy pass Man, I'm sorry for everyone maybe who will watch this video, but for me, I feel to hate, I feel to hate, I feel to hate Uganda. But I think if it was possible, Africa should maybe try to change this kind of life, you know. So bad, man. No anyone was like, even I was surprised to hear my brother say, like, they told him, 
they let him in, but Burundian will not pass. Imagine, guys. Imagine this kind of mindset, guys. <sighs> they harass me like just to insult me. Ah, kick me out. Oh my God. But thank God I'm I'm alive. They, you, even even uh, for the last one, the last one they oh my God what they did. They took my boarding my boarding pass. They said this is belong to the airline. Imagine. Okay, let me show. You, let me tell you. Let me try to show you this. I have actually um. Guys, I actually have this. Let me show you where. Okay. This is my visa to Dubai. And you can see here. They stamped this visa to me by saying that they are letting me to go. Imagine, I have a boarding pass, I have a visa, and you know, all, all of them is money. And also, uh, to come back in the country, you know, because if they don't see two, uh, two flight tickets, they cannot allow you to go. Imagine, the f two flight tickets to go and back. Okay, imagine that all that money again book for a hotel again. I bought the visa and even they stamped it to a visa that I supposed to enter. This is a, a stamp of uh, emulate. Emulate allow me, I can go. But Uganda say no. But why, guys? Huh? Is it how life going? Oh my God! Here I was crying like crazy today, but at least I'm I'm fine now. I thank God even the way I am right now. It's just a part of life, but this one is too much to me. It taught me something which I never. And even I was uh, thinking more about it to pass here. This place was uh, feeling too bad, man. Imagine using their flight, Uganda airline come, but what happened was something crazy. So I think I have no much guys to do or no much to say, but today, today was a hectic day, crying day no peace man harassment only ah. but why Uganda, Ugandan then Ugandan migration hate Burundian because I cannot say that he's a rule because I was with my brother my friend who came along from Kenya we went to Burundi now from Burundi to, to Uganda and they allow me they allow him in Burundi go in, to come here in Uganda, even though was not a uh, Burundian or maybe Uganda. But me, they can refuse. Imagine, guys. Eh, if all countries are like that, I see. I, I'm, I'm not gonna manage to travel. I'm not gonna manage to be a traveler anymore. No way. <coughs> But hopefully maybe it's not the same because the time I was in Kenya also I used to travel from Kenya to Uganda here and they didn't harass me anymore. So I don't know. So then guys, I'm not gonna have much to say because even my heart is not well right now. My body is not well, I don't have even energy. I'm just like that. So my bag over there. I'm 
just waiting maybe any option what I can do now then uh, thank God for everything because everything happened for reason so let me just try to do this and guys thank you in case you are new leave any comments leave any comment just to, uh, tell us what do you think about this Uganda migration because it's so crazy and too bad someone called me let me see maybe is any help yeah so guys thank you very much i really appreciate mm, and please leave any comment to tell us what do you think about this uganda migration actually for me for me i'm out of words and guys let me just say bye 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 guys <laughs>